On October 7, 2025, something unusual happened. The European Space Agency released a set of images that no one expected. Photos of an interstellar object called 3i Atlas captured not by a deep space telescope, but by a Mars orbiter camera. Here's the strange part. The camera was never meant to see beyond Mars, yet somehow it caught something glowing faintly against the darkness of space. A sphere so dim, it was 10,000 times fainter than any normal target. And what it showed simply shouldn't exist. While ESA released the data, NASA went silent. Their Mars orbiter feeds went offline, trapped behind a government shutdown. The timing was too perfect to ignore. ESA's images went viral, and NASA's data vanished. Scientists around the world started asking the same question. What exactly did ESA find? Why is this object unlike anything we've ever seen? And how could something this massive, this strange, appear out of nowhere right as one of Earth's main space agencies went dark? The answers, as you'll see, only get weirder. This is the story of 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever confirmed and maybe the most mysterious one yet. It started like any other space mission update. The ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, quietly circling Mars, was running a series of calibration tests when its onboard camera known as Cassis picked up something unexpected just beyond the planet's orbit. At first, the data looked like noise, a faint blur in the blackness, but when the images were processed, a pattern emerged. A diffuse, glowing sphere appeared exactly where no known object should be. The readings placed it about 18.6 million miles from Mars close, in astronomical terms, yet clearly not from within our solar system. The European Space Agency confirmed it almost immediately. This wasn't an asteroid or a comet from the Kuiper Belt. It was moving too fast, on a trajectory that cut across the solar system from deep interstellar space. They called it 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor in recorded history. Only two others had ever been seen before Aumuamua in 2017 and Borisov in 2019, and both had left scientists with more questions than answers. But this one felt different from the start. The ESA newsroom described the mood as electric. While NASA's instruments sat silent, Due to a government shutdown, the European team had the sky to themselves. The images showed something massive, moving fast, and glowing in a way that didn't match any known model of a comet or asteroid. Every frame seemed to whisper the same unsettling message. This is not normal space debris. Within hours, researchers and journalists flooded the ESA servers, demanding access to the data. Even seasoned scientists admitted they had never seen anything like it. The object wasn't just bright, it was wrong. Its light behaved differently, its structure looked unstable, and its surface reflections broke every rule of cometary science. October 7, 2025, became a date no one in astronomy would forget. A day when one space agency opened the blinds to the cosmos, while another was forced to sit in the dark. When the first clear frames of 3i Atlas were released, they didn't look like any comet you've ever seen. No sparkling tail, no sharp edges, just a faint, glowing blur suspended in nothing. The Cassis camera aboard the ExoMars orbiter wasn't built for this kind of work. It's designed to capture the bright, rocky details of Martian cliffs and craters, not to chase a ghost drifting millions of miles away. Still, the engineering team, led by Nick Thomas, decided to take a risk. They pushed the camera to its limit of five-second exposures, ten times longer than normal. Every second increased the danger of distortion, of cosmic rays corrupting the image or the orbiter's movement smearing the shot. But they went for it anyway. The challenge wasn't just the distance, it was precision. To keep the image steady, the orbiter had to lock its aim within a fraction of an arc second less than the width of a human hair seen from a mile away. Any slip and the comet would vanish into the noise. When the data packets hit Earth, ESA's analysts weren't the only ones watching. A global network of citizen scientists joined in. They downloaded the raw files, aligned the stars, and stacked dozens of exposures by hand. What they revealed shocked everyone. The faint blur wasn't random at all. It was a perfect sphere of light, softly pulsing, sitting exactly where the models predicted 3i Atlas should be. ESA double-checked everything, filters, sensors, calibration stars. The result held up. It wasn't an error, it wasn't a glitch. The readings were real. 3i Atlas wasn't reflecting light like a normal comet. It was bending it, twisting it in ways no one had seen before. 
the official polarization reading minus 2.77% broke every known rule of light scattering. One mission scientist put it simply, it shouldn't be possible. And yet, there it was, hanging silently beyond Mars, dim, but unmistakably, a ghostly visitor that had come from between the stars. Once ESA confirmed the object was real, the deeper analysis began. The numbers didn't just surprise scientists, they stunned them. 3i Atlas wasn't a pebble drifting through the void. It was a giant. Estimates put its mass at over 33 billion tons. To imagine that, think of a thousand aircraft carriers, then multiply that by another thousand. Its solid core called the nucleus spanned between three and five miles wide, roughly the size of Manhattan. But that wasn't even the most puzzling part. Surrounding the core was a glowing cloud of gas and dust known as the coma. Normally, that cloud spreads out and thins as sunlight hits it, forming the familiar tail of a comet. Not this time. The coma of 3i Atlas was tightly bound, almost refusing to disperse, as if some invisible force was holding it together. Measurements showed that the inner glow stretched about 680 miles across, while older Hubble data hinted that the outer halo could span nearly 4,000 miles. That difference didn't make sense. It wasn't a trick of distance or fading light, it was structural. Something about this object made it far denser and more cohesive than any comet ever recorded. Light bouncing off, it didn't behave as expected either. Normal comets scatter sunlight in predictable patterns, but Atlas reflected it back in an entirely new way. That extreme negative polarization meant the dust around it was doing something unknown, something no natural formula could reproduce. Theories started forming overnight. Some researchers suggested the dust grains might be jagged, hollow, or even made from minerals we've never seen in the solar system. Others whispered about artificial compounds, something designed rather than formed by chance. The strangest part, despite releasing gas and dust, Atlas hardly moved off its projected course. The gas jets that should have nudged it by miles each day barely shifted it by 50 feet. It was as if the object didn't want to be moved, like it was built to stay steady no matter what space threw at it. For a moment, scientists were forced to admit whatever 3i Atlas was, it didn't behave like anything nature had ever made. The closer scientists looked, the stranger it got. Spectral scans revealed jets of carbon dioxide shooting from the comet's surface. Nothing unusual there at first, except these jets didn't form the typical, messy halo you'd expect from a natural body. Instead, they formed precise, narrow streams stretching more than 200,000 miles into space, almost the distance from Earth to the Moon. Even weirder, several of those jets aligned perfectly along great circles' exact geometric paths that seemed too neat to be random. Planetary scientists tried to explain it as fractures or vents in the crust, but the symmetry was unnerving. It looked deliberate. Then came the real shocker. Chemical readings showed strong nickel emission lines, but almost no iron. That combination doesn't happen naturally. Nickel and iron are born together in dying stars. They're cosmic twins. Finding one without the other is like finding salt without sodium. Some researchers quietly wondered, if the material had been sorted or processed long before it reached us. Others thought it might be alien dust from a planet we've never seen. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb publicly said what many were thinking but didn't dare to admit. The data hinted at something engineered. He pointed to the polarization, the composition, the precise, jets all evidence of design, or at least something far beyond random formation. His critics called it speculation, but no one could give a better answer. Meanwhile, Another camp formed around a radical but natural theory. Planetary scientist Dr. Susan Furr suggested 3i Atlas might be a planetary seed, a solid interstellar fragment built to trigger new worlds when it passes through young star systems. If that's true, then planets like Earth could be descendants of objects like this. Either way, one thing became clear. Atlas didn't fit in any known category of comet, asteroid, or alien probe. It was something entirely new. Even its path through space raised eyebrows. When astronomers charted the trajectory of 3i Atlas, they found it was slicing straight through the solar system within just five degrees of Earth's orbital plane, the thin, flat path where all the planets travel. The odds of that happening by random chance are less than 1%. And there was another eerie detail. Its approach lined up within nine degrees of the same coordinates, where the famous WOW signal was detected back in 1977 that mysterious radio burst that lasted 72 seconds 
and has never been fully explained. Coincidence, maybe, but even seasoned scientists admitted that the precision felt engineered. Adding to the intrigue, Atlas is moving at a staggering speed, about 134,000 miles per hour faster than almost any comet we've ever recorded. Yet despite its velocity, it's stable following its path with almost mechanical accuracy. Normally, when sunlight heats a comet, vapor jets push it slightly off course, but not this one. Its acceleration was so tiny that tracking software showed a flat line, like a machine locked on autopilot. Teams in Japan and Germany verified the numbers using independent instruments. Every measurement matched. No wobble, no drift, just perfect motion. And that's what started to bother people. Because in nature, perfection is rare, but in engineering it's expected. With its closest pass to the sun, known as perihelion, predicted for October 30th, 2025, scientists around the world prepared for what might be their last chance to study the object before it disappears forever into deep space. Whatever 3 i Atlas is, natural or not, it's moving exactly where it wants to go, and that's what makes it so unsettling. As news of 3 i Atlas spread, the world's observatories pivoted immediately. The James Webb Space Telescope cancelled its scheduled exoplanet observations, reprogramming itself to focus on this mysterious interstellar visitor. ESA scrambled its Mars Express and JUICE missions to triangulate Atlas's position from multiple angles, while amateur astronomers in backyard observatories tracked every faint pixel of light they could capture. Across the globe, telescopes in Japan, Chile and South Africa trained on the object, sharing real-time feeds through collaborative networks. Even NASA's orbiters, stuck offline due to the government shutdown, had inadvertently recorded glimpses before going dark, and data recovered from Perseverance on Mars showed a fleeting silhouette of the object on the Martian horizon. Newsrooms, broadcast alerts, and science forums buzzed with speculation. Every new measurement only deepened the mystery. The jets remained perfectly aligned, the mass stayed consistent, and the coma refused to spread. It wasn't just a comet, it had become a global focus, a puzzle that pulled together professionals, amateurs, and enthusiasts alike, all staring at the same impossible object and wondering the same question. How can something so enormous, so precise, and so strange exist in our solar system right now, on this exact trajectory, seemingly untouched by natural chaos? As 3 I Atlas hurtles toward the sun, the unanswered questions multiply. No one knows if it will survive perihelion, or what changes the intense solar heat might trigger in its dense, glowing core. Scientists continue to debate whether it is a natural phenomenon, a planetary seed, or something deliberately engineered. Its precise trajectory, its stable motion, the unusual jets, and its impossible composition all hint at forces or intelligence beyond what we currently understand. Meanwhile, telescopes are readying for the final close-up observations, knowing this may be the last chance to study an object that could redefine our understanding of the cosmos. For now, all we can do is watch, measure, and speculate, because 3 i Atlas has already shown that the universe can surprise us in ways we never imagined. One thing is certain, the cosmos just became a lot stranger, and the story of 3 i Atlas is only beginning. If you want to follow the latest updates and discuss what this could mean for science and humanity, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep space mysteries as they unfold.